Oh, I'm so excited about this. Our next guest went into the courtroom with pen and paper, but she left with a lifelong invite to the cookout. Megan Cuniff is <laughs> from Law and Crime. She became a viral sensation during the People versus Yeah, there we go. A viral sensation during the People versus They Star Peterson, that is Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion. And Megan was then dubbed Megan the Reporter. Welcome to Detroit. Great to talk to you. Great. Thank, thank you for having me. Okay, I want to jump right into it because I was in Houston. I remember the verdict is getting ready to come down. I'm seeing reports from people saying guilty, not guilty, verified accounts. And my brother said, oh, no, 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 no. There's only one person that I get my information from, Megan the Reporter. I found your Twitter page and I was home. <laughs> How has it been for you to become a viral sensation? You know, it's it's been a lot of fun, a, a little overwhelming when I'm, you know, trying to cover a trial, but that's why we do this, right? We want people to read our work, and it was just really great that everybody, you know, seemed to be getting a lot out of it, and there was so much interest in the case, and, you know, just being able to give the people what they need, it was great. And there were reporters there, I know there was very limited space, but there were reporters from Billboard and uh, reporters from the LA Times. Did you know in the moment that you had become the go-to source? We had all uh, noticed in the very beginning that when we tweeted about it, we were just getting blown up. I mean, all the reporters were kind of remarking on it. But one of the things about, you know, being in the courtroom with just a, a pen and paper, like you said, we don't have our phones. And then when we go out to our phones, we're kind of busy doing the updates. So you want to look at the replies, but that that's kind of a, a social media addiction we all have. We're addicted to the notifications when you're trying to work. So it was kind of a balance between, you know, trying to work and then seeing all these notifications notifications being like, wow, I'm kind of blowing up. And another, a, a couple of the other reporters I know had remarked, they're like, wow, you're everywhere right now. So I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And it's not stopping. I mean, I have seen still so many tweets. Now, I mean, you've almost kind of become a meme where it's like, this is a case for Megan the reporter. Um, I want to know your thoughts on black Twitter. I mean, just to all of a sudden get that kind of baptism by fire. Um, do you love it there? Because I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I was overwhelmed and just so, I mean, it was it, it was awesome. As, you know, a, 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 a white person, I just was <laughs> overwhelmed by it. And it was definitely a, a, a culture that I don't have as much experience or exposure to as I'd like to, just kind of from where I've lived and the job experiences that I've had. So it was really cool to see everything. And then I felt like I really got to know some journalists who, you know, really know a lot about the case and know a lot about hip hop culture in general. So I feel like I've kind of gotten this kind of crash course education in hip hop culture and really met a lot of great people who can kind of educate me about things along the way. Okay, so I want to know just a, a little bit about you and can you just speak about the trial and what it was like? Yeah, um, I, I mean, I had been going up to, I, I, I actually live in Orange County, but I've been going up to Los Angeles County Superior Court for Harvey Weinstein, the movie mogul. He had his Los Angeles trial going on. And then there was also another celebrity trial for uh, Danny Masterson. He was on that 70s show and he's he's a Scientologist. So we called them the simultaneous celebrity sex assault trials. They were going on at the same time on the same floor of the courthouse. So those were kind of wrapping up as Tory Lanez is started. So I was in the habit of going up to the courthouse every day and you know, it's kind of like grade school. There's a cafeteria and you have friends to sit with and that kind of thing. So I was in the routine of it. So I mean, that's one advantage I had just being a courthouse reporter was knowing the landscape so well. Yeah. I mean, going from the ninth floor to the 15th floor where Tory Lanez's trial was, was no thing at all. And then it was just kind of getting started covering the trial and kind of getting to know the court and everything. Yeah. And again, so much drama with the trial as well. We have a quick yes. clip we want to play. Uh, Tory Lane's father had a lot to say after the verdict mm -hmm. was read. How you feeling, sir? How you feeling? You want to know exactly how I'm feeling? Yes, sir. I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witness the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? Oh I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole Rock wicked Nation. system of Rock Nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. 
Yes. You who say you rose from the gutter, but you have trained and Megan, I'm going to jump in here now uh, because we're running out of time. It, it, is there any uh, Jay-Z connection? I, I heard uh, some people were maybe accusing him of leaking audio <laughs> from the court. Is that even possible? No, I, I, I don't think Jay, Jay Z had as much to do do with this as people think. Beyond the fact that he runs Rock Nation, which is Megan's management company, and I'm sure Megan and him have you know some sort of friendship, something like that. Yeah. But I think his involvement in the case was a little bit overblown. But I will add that I think Tori's father was a little calmer in that video than he was in the courtroom. He really erupted in the courtroom right before that. And see, we didn't get to see any of that uh, yeah. because no cameras. Before I let you go, have you heard anything from Megan the Stallion? Uh, you know, I, I haven't. I think she, especially with the case not being over, the motion for new trial pending, he hasn't been sentenced yet. Mm -hmm. I, I think she, you know, kind of wants to lay low. And then also just kind of hearing her on the stand, I'm not sure this is something that she would like brag about, you know, putting putting Tori in, in prison. That's yeah. not, It's not like a, a, a good thing in her life. A lot of twists and turns. I am so grateful that you uh, were able to stop by and say hello to us. We might have you back soon because I know you're doing one of the Real Housewives trials also, right? Yes, All yes, right. Tom Girardi, that's a big one. Look at you, just a superstar in the making. We love it. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you so much. Quick break. We will be right back. Very cool, right? That was good. I was sitting here watching the whole you thing. You leaned I, all the way I back. I do. I, I like her. Yeah. I like her. I'd love to have her back on the show. She knows her business. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how she's going to, what's she going to do with the fan? Because she gets seats at restaurants I now. I know. She's I know. famous. Good for her. Good for her. <laughs> she, she has Beyonce tickets, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> we'll be right back.